love the fall color that this adds into the little bed. It gives it a nice pop of color because I have so much other green and it just feels like fall. I can't wait for it to grow in and like get a little more full and I have to add a little bit more mulch in there where it's showing my um, drip system. But other than that, I think it's looking very pretty. Here's the other side. I feel like this side is already kind of um, flushing out and growing a little bit faster. This side gets a little bit more shade than the other side, so that's probably why. But, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Loving how it's looking. Very exciting. Are you excited? Look at all the Halloween and fall, Magnolia. You see all the Halloween and fall? Oh boy, this is exciting. Oh my gosh. Do you like the pumpkin? That's a cute one. Oh, thank you. How much is that? $22.99. I like this. That your friend? Oh. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? What is that? Don't be don't be scared. It's all pretend. Look how big that mummy is. I want it. That's the one that's like always sold out. I think. If it's not sold out, we'll buy it. No. <laughs> hey, Mickey. You see Mickey? Where is Mickey? Oh, there he is. Is that Jack Skellington? I love Jack Skellington. You love Jack Skellington? The little Haunted Mansion, guys. They have a bunch of Haunted Mansion stuff I just read. That's really cute. $24.98 though and $20. You, you, uh-uh, you gotta be careful, that's breakable. That's cute. Oh, $16.98. What? What? It's not a good idea. Okay. Since we have a classic historic home, yeah. we do classic monsters, the werewolf, Dracula, mummy. These mm -hmm. are classic monsters. How about each year it's a different theme? Yes. You can't put all those together in one place. It'll look like a, a mess. Cute. I kind of love that. Me too. I love Press it. Whoa. Whoa. This vibe is going to be so cute. Can you open it? open Yes. Here, go with Sissy and look at the bird feeders. We've been wanting a bird feeder. So we have some birds that visit our yard every day. Lennon really likes this one. So I think we're gonna go with that one. And they have some of these really like, fancy looking ones. But I kind of like the other one that's more like old school looking. Let's feed these birds. Feed the Let's feed the birds. Let, hold on, let her help you dump it. Hold on, help. You can't go fast. You gotta go nice and slow. And look, see the birdies are gonna come right down here and they're gonna eat it right here and they're gonna sit. Wait. I help you. She wants to help you. You can do this one, okay? Alright, Magnolia. She's gonna let you do this one, okay? Okay, you got be careful. Good, Good job. job. Yay! Go. Your turn, sissy. This, so we're gonna have to hang it. Hang it. All right, we're gonna have to hang it. 
how strong is this? Maybe right here. Got it, don't drop it. There you go. Now let's cut this yeah. branch. Careful, that's sharp. I just dropped Magnolia off at school and I came up to Walmart real quick because you know why? I want to get the fall candle that I love. I haven't burned it since last, I probably burned it at Christmas time, but I have not burned it since then and I'm dying to get it back in my house. And I also wanna get some fall wax melts and I also wanna check out like what they have for pumpkins and just see, I, I honestly haven't been inside a Walmart in a while. So I figure let's go, we're fall prepping. Let's get the house smelling like fall because I don't want to decorate the house for fall if it doesn't smell like fall in there. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. Okay, I need more carpal pumpkins. These are 10. Oh, no, this one's $16.98. Okay, so it says $10.98. I'm guessing maybe this one is $10.98. Nope, this one's $14.98. Which one's $10.98? Oh, this little one's $10.98. This gold one, $12.98. That's a pretty one. They have this big old jack-o'-lantern. It says it lights up. There's the bulb back in there. It says it's $22.48. This guy's cute. 20 bucks. Two of these. Okay, here's some more. I need the carpal pumpkins, but I, I honestly just need pumpkins with faces in it because I was going to carve faces in it. So this actually would make sense to have some of these. Um, so I'm gonna get one of those. So here's the one that I have from Lowe's. I wonder if it's cheaper here. I don't remember how much I, how I bought it for at Lowe's. They have that ghost. This ghost is so cute. Ten ninety eight. Here is my candle. Mm. I think I got some pumpkin. <laughs> okay, real quick, I'm going to show you what I got. So I ended up getting these PJs from Magnolia. They're so cute. They have Vampire Mickey, Mini Witch. What is Donald is a little devil. What is Daisy? I saw Daisy on here, right? Oh, Daisy's a witch too. So cute. These were at $8.98. I, I wish I knew. I didn't pay attention to what size they went up to. But they definitely had like all the like three months, six months. And then I think it went up to like 5T. Um, so super cute. Where did I say how much they were? 890. Yes, I did. $8.98. You want a present, Magnolia? Yeah. I've got something at the store that I think you're gonna love. Ready? Yeah. <gasps> wow, what is it? It's a Halloween party. Halloween party. It's Halloween pajamas. Thank you. You're welcome. Who's on them? Mickey and who else? And me. And Minnie. And Donald. And Donald Duck. And Daisy. And Daisy. And Goofy. And Goofy. And Mickey. And Mickey. You see, they're all dressed up in Halloween outfits. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome, Magnolia. I use Glade plugins all the time, but I do have a couple. And there's a room upstairs. It's our office that Carlos also. Um, broadcast his radio show out of part time, and that room, it's Carlos working in there, and he gets sweaty and hyped up, and it just has like a, just not the best overall smell, I would say. So I mean, it's not terrible, but it's just I feel like it could use a little freshening up in there. So I got this fall night long limited edition one, and. 
it smells nice. So I got some more wax melts. I got this one, Farmhouse Pumpkin Patch. Now I have tried the Better Homes and Gardens wax melts before and they work very well. So these are only $2 because I've gotten the Yankee Candle ones and they are definitely more expensive. And um, so I feel like if you can get a cheaper deal and the smell is just as good. I haven't tried Farmhouse Pumpkin Patch. The notes are pumpkin, sweet apple, spice, brown sugar, and vanilla scent notes. It does smell really nice in the package. Um, so hopefully this one smells good. If it's something's too pumpkin-y, I'm not the biggest like full pumpkin smell kind of person. This one though, crisp fall leaves. This one is so good. It's just super, what's the notes? The notes are apple, leaves, balsam, berry, vanilla, spice, and ambered woods. Yeah, it's just like a very, it's not too light. It's not too rich. It's just like a very fresh smell, but fall. You know what I'm saying? So this one's really good. The big pack like this, as you can see, like the difference, this is $2, this is $4. So I got two of the big ones and then I'm already burning it. What I went there for, the Vanilla Bean and Smoked Embers by Better Homes and Garden. I said it last year, I'll say it again. It is a dupe for Marshmallow Fireside, in my opinion, from Bath & Body Works. I love that smell. It is fall and Christmas to me with that smell. Mostly like fall though, but heading into Christmas. So I love it. It is a little bit pricey. I think it was $14.97, but it's bigger than the um, Bath and Body Works one. So I feel like it's worth it. They had a smaller one last year that was $9.97. That was more the Bath and Body Works size, but I didn't see that one this year. So maybe they have it. Mine's just out. I got these. I did it quite a few years ago where I took one of these because they were like $1.97. I spray painted it and then put flowers, mums, or whatever kind of fall flowers you want out of it. And it was super cute, it's easy way to do it. So I have uh, my little planter urn things outside. So I thought, well, that could be cute to do again. So I was going to go ahead and try that. Probably spray paint it, I don't know, probably gold, but maybe, yeah, I think gold. And then maybe I'll like do, um, uh, Sharpie with the, um, the mouth. So stay tuned for that. The other stuff I got were just those jack-o'-lantern pumpkins that I showed you. Got them in two different orange sizes and the black one. Um, and I need to just essentially test out and see how much area it covers for my vision for Halloween for this house. If you didn't know, this neighborhood gets like thousands of trick-or-treaters. It's a historic neighborhood. So, you know, you gotta, we gotta impress. And I wanna do things, I'm gonna do things still with skeletons like I did last year, but I'm gonna amp it up a little bit and keep with this theme maybe for another year or two. And then we'll probably like completely shift to something else, have it fresh and new, you just wait. If you watch my stories on Instagram, I did it a while ago and I shared that this was an inspiration. So if you saw that, you were in the know of what my idea is. But if you didn't, I'll be sharing more about it soon. So, all right, that's it for the haul. Okay, it just started raining. Oh, it's okay, you guys can do it again. Ready? Yeah, you guys can do it again okay. another day. All right. <laughs> Currently, it's a mess back here. We have, um, as you can see, a giant skeleton. I think that's the seven foot one right there. We've got a random one here. We've got them here, we've got them here, we've got them here, we've got them here. Obviously we don't have uh, the rest of the stuff down yet. And now I'm pretty sure Magnolia just went all the way to the back of our property in the rain. Ugh. I have those shoes on. How about we swing later when it's not raining? I hear Daddy and Sissy. You wanna go find them? Shh, okay, let's go find them. Okay, come on. Okay, let's go find them. Ready? Go, go. Go, go, go. This is 
is my next stop. Fall prepping has to continue by going upstairs in the carriage house to all of my holiday decor. It's another little thing I did. I put these pumpkins in there. When I saw my dad do this, I was like, I'm gonna totally steal this idea. Put some sweet potato vine back there. Then I just took some Spanish moss and these little decorative pumpkins. I love it because I can see it from my kitchen window and it just makes me happy. Little simple idea that you could do. It might end up adding like a little spider or something like that to make it more spooky for Halloween, even though like the moss is kind of spooky. But um, for now, you know, and they look super cute. Another thing that I've started doing that I totally stole from my dad that we do at the garden shop, all of the little, not all of them, but a lot of the little containers at the garden shop, my dad adds like pumpkins to, and it just gives it that fall look so beautifully. So I've kind of gotten obsessed with sticking a pumpkin in all of my containers. And I stuck them in this one and this one. Then obviously that one over there. Okay, the time has come. It's time to assess the situation. We've got a bunch of Christmas, as you can see behind me. And then here is all of our Halloween and fall all back here. So I know I have like a bunch of these pumpkins that I got a long time ago. See, there's a bunch more of them. I want to spray paint them because they're super faded anyways and use these pumpkins out in my outdoor display and I need to get a broom because we've got some spider webs going on. I've got a bunch of skeletons above me. <laughs> So I need you to help me move this table with all this Christmas so that I can get behind here and like make an assessment of like what I'm feeling a bit mm -hmm. um, overwhelmed with the I'm happy I have so much stuff mm -hmm. uh, but it's just not that organized right now and I wish it were more organized. Instead of being overwhelmed it's an opportunity to do something actually you've wanted to do for a very long time is to really go through and do this any other time too and uh, oh yeah I got, I got all the time <laughs> we, we do essentially we're starting early here and and we're starting early what it's september 14th oh my gosh everyone else is decorated everybody who's a maniac on social media or youtube who does things in freaking august they're all decorated. Well, I'm so behind. What? We're fine. <laughs> we're fine. All right. It feels like we're behind. We're going to move this over. Okay. It feels like we're behind, but we're not behind. We move some things around. There's a lot to go through. Fall and Halloween decorating is on its way. I hope you enjoyed this video and kind of prepping for fall with me. Originally, I was like, well, I'll probably do a little bit of fall and then I'll go into Halloween. But I always, always underestimate how much time I'll have to do things, especially since I've had Magnolia. I feel like I'm a broken record saying it, but it's just so true. It's just so much harder to do things when you have a toddler. We don't have a lot of help, and uh, Carlos is working all the time on different things, so I just don't end up having the kind of time that in my head I think I will end up having. She is in school a few hours a day, three days a week, and it's amazing how fast that time goes. And I know that once she gets a little bit older, we can have her around, but she's still only two. So you really have to keep your eye on her and I can't really like do much of anything without obviously having an eye on her. And also she likes to get into everything that I'm doing. So um, real talk, I'm having to continuously tell myself it's okay. I put pressure on myself to try and like get things done at a certain time and then I don't end up making that time in my head and then I feel defeated and I've honestly been on quite a mental journey the past two years since having Magnolia and um, I'm a work in progress for sure and I'm so happy to have Magnolia in our life and it's just me learning how to balance things better. I feel like that is like my word that I'm always trying to work on is balance and not uh, expecting too much out of myself so that I'm constantly 
letting myself down. I am my own worst critic. I know my husband constantly tries to reassure me that um, that it's okay and that just take it day by day. And it's a lot easier said than done, especially for someone. I know a lot of people struggle with um, just feeling like overwhelmed and anxious and all of that. And I definitely still continue to struggle with that. I feel like some days are better than others. I feel like every past few videos I've said like, oh, we're going to get there. I'm going to have more videos out all the time. And I always hope that that's the case. And then look, it's been a month since I've had a video out and I just, ugh drives me a little bit crazy because I just want to be so consistent but at this stage in my life it's just really not that possible when I work and I have a family that I'm taking care of all the time and Magnolia is home with me so much I'm just gonna keep doing my best I'm gonna put content out when I can hopefully you will enjoy it when I do put videos out and I'm excited to start decorating. Thank you for listening to me. I feel like I have to explain myself. I mean, I know I don't have to explain myself, but some of you that have been with me for so long, I feel like, you know, you're who I'm talking to. Those of you that have been invested with me and my family, just wanted to be like honest and real and um, kind of give you a little what's going on everything's good the family's good we just have a lot on our plate and uh that's part of life i'm excited to start decorating let me know if you have started decorating if you're done decorating did you decorate for just fall are you going to decorate for halloween are you like no halloween just fall for me let me know what you're doing where you're at in your game help me not feel as bad that i'm so behind does it drive you crazy also that people on youtube and instagram are so ahead of the curve. I definitely struggle with comparing myself all the time to people on social media, and Instagram, YouTube. Please tell me that you're not completely decorated yet. <laughs> It'll make me feel better. No, I'm just kidding. Like, well, yeah, you can tell me, uh, but if you are completely decorated, don't worry, you won't make me feel bad. I get it. Okay, I have talked enough. I gotta get to work. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Next video will be decorating. Gotta get the porch together and uh, some other little things that I will be sharing along the way. I gotta go ahead and end this video here so I can get it up for you, but I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.